Good morning, all. Uh, it's Eileen, and I've been missing for a little while, and I'm sorry about that. But I was uninspired to do anything, um, and that I was also insanely busy this last month. So January seems to have been the funnest month I've ever had, ever. <laughs> but anyway, um, I have 15 minutes to do this, and I'm hoping that I can not take the whole 15 minutes, but, um, what, first, good morning, uh, the second thing is I want to say welcome to the channel to all the new subscribers, and I would also say, um, welcome back to all my old subscribers, it's really awesome to see you all here, um, I appreciate all your support and stuff, but, and then the third thing is the point of this video, and it's, 7.15 a.m., so I'm still a little fuzzy, uh, but I wanted to get this done and out before <clears throat> um, I forgot um, all the details. So, um, I had a dream last night, and uh, it was about uh, this little girl, um, kind of blonde and pretty, and about four, I think she was about four. Um, and her mom was, her mom and her were like a singing duet, and, you know, they were singing and dancing and doing all things. Um, part of them went, were, they entertained people from the church, I think? I think that's what it was, anyway. And schools and all sorts of stuff, and, you know, she was quite popular, and they all wanted to see her and stuff. Um... And the details will go off fuzzy because I just woke up, or I woke up a little while ago, and they're starting to fade. <clears throat> but um, I remember, I remember their singing and their dancing routine, and I remember them. I think she was homeschooled, because I remember seeing, like, being in their house and watching, watching her do work or something on the table. And her mom called it homework, I think, but, um, anyway, so the dream kind of moved on, and, uh, I think I went grocery shopping for them, and I bought stuff, and I brought it back to the house that they were in, and the house that they were in, um, suddenly looked dilapidated, and old, and run down, and um, just falling apart, broken windows and stuff, and I was slightly confused at this, so I gra took the groceries and I walked into the house and I put them on the table and I looked around. And the house had obviously been abandoned for ages and years, and uh, I couldn't find any record of who they were or um, that they existed and stuff, but I kept hearing a little girl crying throughout the house. And, uh, I think the family dog was still in the house. I think that's, that they had a dog and it was still in the house when it, towards the end of the dream. Anyway, so I went around all the, all the rooms and things, and I was, like, looking for evidence and looking for, you know, what happened to them or where did they go, and I, was, I couldn't find anything. But I kept hearing this girl crying, and then I realized that I was looking for her body, that had been stashed somewhere in the house. And then it kind of really broke my heart, and it was so sad, because um, it was her spirit that was crying, trying to break free from the house, but her body had been undiscovered, and, <clears throat> and the dog had seen it, but couldn't communicate with anyone about what he had seen. So it was kind of sad that way. Anyway, so once I had realized that in my dream that I was looking for her body and I was trying to, you know, bring justice to her, then I woke up and it was really, really sad because it was like heartbreaking. But I've had, <coughs> I've had a couple of um, dreams along the same theme um, over the last few months. And uh, one of them was a train 
we were riding on a train and uh, the train stopped and we went to this under underpass, a giant bridge, and we were all under the, in the underpass trying to wait for the train to continue. And there was a whole bunch of like um, run down people. They were hurting and you know crying and really upset, and distraught, and traumatized. And um, this uh, father. He was especially traumatized because he had just lost his little boy. His son had died in this traumatic event, and he, he didn't know what to do with himself. And then that was also one of those sad dreams that I had. And uh, as a result of having a series of these dreams, um, I've kind of... I kind of want to do a vlog. I used to write my dreams down, but... I never did anything with this. I never interacted with anything. It was just me putting my dreams down on paper and then forgetting about it. So one of the things that I was thinking <coughs> is that um, I'm going to try an experiment. And uh, the experiment is going to be um, I'm going to try and vlog my dreams. I'm going to try it for a week, so seven nights. I'll wake up. And if I wake up early, I also been, uh, so if I wake up, um, from a dream, I'll talk to the camera and tell you guys about it. And then if, um, and then we'll see about if I find it helpful or if you guys find it interesting, um, I'll do it for the month. And then if it really is helpful and, um, then I might continue on for however long I want. Um, <clears throat> I've talked about my dreams before on this channel. Um, series of dreams, the creepy lady dream, um, I, was the one that made the most impact on me. Uh, but these dreams, like I dream in series and I've always done that. So I was thinking that if I try and pinpoint when, when the series happens or if I can have a record of um, related dreams, then I can kind of see um, if there's a pattern or if there's something that my brain is trying to tell me. Because that's one of the things that I believe in is that your dreams mean something. They're not just like random bits of information, you know, just being filtered throughout your, you know, through your waking life. And then your brain is just processing them. I actually think that you are trying to tell yourself something. Um, that you won't, uh, won't or can't um, acknowledge when you're awake. And I've also found that when I'm dreaming and when I was writing them down, I found it helpful to kind of work through what it is that my brain is trying to tell me that I'm not listening to. Um, so that's the main reason for this. But I also want to keep a record um, of dreams that I've had uh, because I find, I find it helpful, like, I love telling my dreams. I don't know if you guys listen, like, listening to me telling you, telling you my dreams. Mm, not enough coffee, sorry. Um, but, uh, it'll be an interesting little experiment for me to see if it's helpful or not, to actually look back at my dreams in the past, to see how relevant it is in the present even though I'm doing it for the future. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, and then, um, through it, maybe I'll just like show you my, the books that I've come across over in the past, or the websites, I'll put links or something down, um, to make it a little bit more entertaining for you, or a little bit more informative for you. Um, <clears throat> But one of the things that I've been really curious about is, like, people keep telling me that, and it, I suppose it's true in a sense, but, you know, what you read or what you see, like, on TV or movies or, you know, whatever information is inputted, you bring into your, into your life um, influences your dreams. And I've also been told that what you eat or drink before you go to bed also influences your dreams. So, I will also try and include that in my 
dream diary, I guess I'll call it. Um, so last night, uh, before I went to bed, I had salad, a little yogurt, and um, a bowl of cereal. Because um, I, <laughs> I didn't feel like cooking last night. Anyway, so one of the other things that I've done is that, so I ate, and then I was reading Mall Flanders um, right up until I went to bed. So <clears throat> I don't know if that was an influence on that dream or not. Um, what else was I doing? I was listening to music as well, So, but the m music was electronic, a background uh, sort of thing. Um, Deep Forest, I think, but we'll see if that's any relevance. Uh, so this is my experiment. Welcome to it. Um, if you want to participate and tell me your dreams, by all means do so. I have no problem with that. I love listening to people's dreams. Um, I'll give you a little bit more history, maybe, in the next file, or in the next video, rather, and uh, about my dream patterns and my dream um, psychology, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy this, <laughs> and I hope you guys participate. And um, good morning, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.